All this week on Dateline Schools, get to meet one of the newest superintendents here in St. Clair County. As we're talking with Jeff Turpening, the new superintendent out at KPAC Community Schools. And, and Jeff, yesterday you mentioned how you're just kind of sitting back, observing, learning, and meeting people out in KPAC. Any uh, changes that you're contemplating at this point? I don't have any at the moment. I, I think it's a lot like steering a freighter out in the Great Lakes. You kind of just hold her straight for a while until you make uh, decide what way you want to turn. And then when you turn it, you know that it's not going to turn fast. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can throw the, a freighter hard over to the left, and it's probably going to be a few miles before you see any you know actual turn. So we do have a strategic plan that we're working on. One of the things we worked on with the strategic plan was uh, an employee recognition. So we're just kind of kicking that off this month. Um, we developed a thing called KPAC Cash um, that we are going to issue to our uh, employee of the month. So we'll have an employee each month. We'll let, give them uh, KPAC Cash that they can spend in cooperation with the Chamber of Commerce downtown. So I just met with the Chamber of Commerce um, Monday night. Mm -hmm. um, so they're all on board. So we're hoping to get that kicked off uh, later this week. We know it's the middle of the month, but we're hoping to have somebody for November and then uh, every month that we're in school. So that's just uh, an idea. That, like We have a strategic plan, so we're, we're going to follow that strategic plan pretty hard um, and try to work for off of that. I know yesterday, too, you also mentioned about uh, you know the number of students that you have how, and how it relates to the budget. So how, how does KPAC's budget look for 2018? At the moment, we're solid. So, you know, I mean, um, but, you know, that's always fluid in schools. Um, you know, if you think back four or five years ago, we had that really, really hard winter, you know, and everybody had to pay a lot. Um, so we hope for not the hard winter, <laughs> knock on wood. Um, or fuel costs, you know, sudden spikes, sudden, sudden changes are difficult for any school system, but especially one who has a budget as tight as ours, mm -hmm. which every school in the state has a tight budget. I mean, they just haven't found a, a viable funding source yet. So, um, the, the state is working on some of that stuff. So at the moment, we're okay. Um, and so we'll just keep, you know, steering that freighter straight, and hopefully there'll be no real curveballs for us. We'll be back with more tomorrow. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington.